631 new this morning. Look around your house this morning and all those belongings. Imagine losing it all to a fire. Local fire officials say it happens way too often. WGEM's Isabel Rossi is live in Hannibal to explain how investing a couple of dollars a month in insurance can protect all of those belongings. Isabel, good morning. Good morning, Don. I'm here this morning at the Park Terrace Apartments in Hannibal. When a fire ripped through this building behind me last week, some of the residents here lost everything they owned, and now they're wondering how they can pay to get back those things. And officials we spoke to said if they had renter's insurance, it would be easier for them to recover. Officials that I spoke to with the Hannibal Fire Department say only one of the units out of the 12 in this building was covered by renter's insurance. One local insurance agent I spoke to stressed just how little the cost can be and how much it can protect. It is not expensive to have. Very affordable. Somewhere between $10 and $20 a month is what you would pay for renter's insurance depending on what type of coverage and the amount of coverage you need. Uh, the minimum we sell is usually $20,000. Spratt says renters insurance will also protect renters in case of problems like broken pipes or accidents like if someone is injured on the property. And for more information on your coverage options, we do have information about that on our website at WGEM.com. Live in Hannibal, I'm Isabella Rossi, WGEM News. Isabella, thank you. And here's some more information on this story. It's not just a local issue. It's happening nationwide. A majority of renters don't have renter's insurance. We looked into the numbers. We found only 37% of renters actually have and own insurance. That's according to the Insurance Information Institute. And this is how cheap it is in the tri-states. According to the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, for the cost of the year, it's only $144 on average in Iowa, $167 in Illinois, and $173 in Missouri.